Welcome to Getting Started with Music Production with your host, Robert Willie. Hi, today I'd like to show you how to use iTunes to make MP3 files and to put in ID3 tags with more information about you and your music. I had a question from Francesca uh, how to do this, so I'm going to bring in one of her songs. She's got an M4A version, and we want to turn it into an MP3. So I drag that into iTunes. You can get iTunes for free, either for uh, Apple or Windows computers. When you import a song, iTunes is going to convert it to whatever format you have set under your preferences. So go to Preferences, and notice here, Import Settings. Right now I've got it set to WAV files. So whatever format my file is originally, when I bring it in, iTunes is going to convert it to a WAV file. If you go to File and then you say Create New Version, the only choice you're going to have is that one that was set in the Preferences. What I want is an MP3, so I'm going to go back to Preferences and change it, the import settings to be an MP3 format, and then I'll have the option here to create an MP3 instead. So this is going to change. You'll see it when we come back. Go to iTunes, Preferences, Import Settings. Change this to MP3. And you might as well use the best quality you can if you're doing this for music. It'd be nice if it went up higher. Here we go. 320 kilobits is the highest you can use. And that sounds pretty darn good. So now I select her song. I go under File, I say Create New Version. Now I have the option to create an MP3 version. Here's the new one. You can see under Date Added, it's the one above. It can be a little confusing. If you don't have Date Added, you can add that under your View Options. Check this Date Added. It's, it's useful. Then you can sort if you want and put your, more, your most recent songs at the top. So this is the original that I imported. This is the new MP3. So under Artist, I'm going to add Francesca La Rosa. For Album, I'm going to put Summer Songs. And now with Get Info, this is the interesting part. You can add these other tags, and they'll be embedded into your file so that if anybody gets your mp3 file and they have a player that supports this, uh, they can get this additional information. And the album artist is the same as, as uh, the artist. Now we can add this other information. Summer songs came in because we named it up here. Artwork. A group of students last semester made a logo for her. The lyrics you can put in there. You might as well put in the website if somebody wants to know more. And now you have to go find where the MP3 was put. It's in your iTunes library. And now I have a new folder for this artist because I added the artist tag up here. And I have an album subdirectory because I created that in iTunes. And here's the MP3. And it comes up with the logo. If you had the right player, you'd be able to see the lyrics and get more information. So I hope you enjoy using iTunes to create MP3 files that carry your message with them.